What is going on, everybody? It is Arwen Master, and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we did the side quest where we followed this poor girl around Windfall until she eventually gave in and gave us an empty bottle. And now we are going to do another side quest, which is right up here. Because, uh, because in this side quest, I need a piece of heart. You're there! Halt! Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of here before you could say, Boo! But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we per perhaps met before someplace? Hmm, possibly. Oh, to think that I would survive my ordeal and return to this town, and to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house. It's like a dream come true. Hmm. But no, no, it's a nightmare. Without him by my side, it's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress, that sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from that cursed island. Just hearing his name lifts my spirits. Mo. The wonderful Moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, Mo, Why, Mo? I'm always writing heartfelt letters filled with my overflowing emotions. But why don't you answer me, Mo? Dot dot dot. Ah! This is bad. Oh, terribly bad. I've already drifted off into my own dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you take the letter I've just finished inking and deliver it to the post box for me? Please, I beg of you. Sure thing, bunny ears. What? Really? You're such a dear. You made Maggie so happy. You got Maggie's letter. It's a letter from Maggie to her sweetie. Keep in your delivery bag until you find the post box to drop it in. The post box! Don't you dare forget! But you must promise not to read it. The secrets of a girl's heart are to be shared only when she so desires. Okay. I'm gonna do your little request. What happens if you talk to this guy again? What? Whatever do you mean? You don't mean my daughter, do you? Because my daughter has already been rescued from the Forsaken Fortress. Why? She even returned with a huge load of lovely, glittering, delicious treasure. Thanks to her little incident, we've become filthy rich overnight. And I mean filthy. Why, there isn't a girl in the world who's as good a child as my Maggie. You may not have been able to help me, but there's no harm done. I'm sure you'll accomplish something in life, someday. Hey, <laughs> you roasted me. In the meanwhile, my daughter has blossomed into quite the little beauty. Run along, go spend some time with her. <laughs> well, first I gotta do her little errand, and then I just might take a little shortcut instead of hiking all the way downstairs. But I will have, um, but I will, however, have to hike all the way upstairs once I get this done and drop this in the post box. Oops. Maggie's letter. The post box is dancing again. Could it be another letter? Good evening. Letters for Link. We have two letters. Will you pay? Yes. To the esteemed Mr. Fairy Person, thank you very much for your purchase. Enclosed is an incredible chart. Ooh, yes. Definitely gonna need this. This chart will show you where you can find the Triforce charts. I want you to use it to find lots of them. They are my favorite kind of charts. And also, sir, have you been checking your Tingle chart? Have you seen those giant fairy marks? Follow the chart to them and your fortune will increase greatly. Tingle. Ooh, nice. You got the incredible chart. Now you know where all the Triforce charts are hidden. That's positively incredible. Press Control pad up and check your charts to view it. Awesome. And this other letter, what does it say? Have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship writing you this letter. Isn't it that neat? At first, I was really scared, but they're all actually nice. For pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge is a little s strange, but nice, too. And as for S Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuku's kind of weird, 
but Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. Hee <laughs> hee. As usual, Nico is always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? Maybe. Possibly. I helped them all out with their chores, and they actually paid me a little for it, so I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't you worry. I'll take care of myself, so you be sure to take good care of yourself. Good luck, Ariel. And, as usual, I got money from my relative. From my, from my sibling. Nice. Okay, now I need to drop this in the post box. Kachunk! Power! This post box is near Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only 5 rupees. Do you wish to send this now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Bob. Your parcel has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the Island Postal Service. We appreciate your business. Now. The post burrito should be here somewhere as soon as I drop this in the post box. I think. I think he's inside. This may involve um, changes of day and night. I'm not 100% sure, but um, or you could do this at any time of day, regardless if it's day or night. And there he is. Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open up your ears. Silence. I'm telling you we don't allow postmen here. Be gone! Be gone! Don't be ridiculous! I went through great trials and tribulations to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress and return with Moe's letter. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Then please, be reasonable. Can you at least sign for the letter? Silence! Be gone! Be gone! What a stubborn old man. Just acknowledge I was here! Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Rawrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
<laughs> I'm counting on you to put this in Maggie's hands, and I thank you. Did you go to the gym with these guys and never bother to shower? You smell, my man. You, my friend, smell. Okay, so hike up all these stairs. Okay, now I gotta equip this and give it to little Miss Bunny or Princess over here. Is is that could it be? The letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Let me read it this instant! Swipe. Um, this is Mo. I like you, Maggie, so much that I want to eat you for dinner, dot dot dot. Did you hear that? Those words. This means, I mean, it must mean, can it be? Is this his marriage proposal? That's code for... Will you marry me? <laughs> it must be. At last, my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last, he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. True de do de do la. From here on out, today will be the anniversary of true love for me and Mo. Oh, it completely slipped my mind. I must thank you for your role in this. To commemorate my anniversary of true love, I give you this. You got a piece of heart. Yay. Uh, you've collected three so far. Collect one more to increase your life energy. Cool. Truly, Lou, who treasure it always. Alright, guys, that's going to things off for this episode. Next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we're going to head to Dragon Roost Island. Until then, our Ringmaster out. Peace.